stuck like Chuck in trashy relationships. I've discovered, my brothers and sisters, that there are individuals in this life, when you check out their dating record in spite of what they appear to have going for them, they keep hanging out with trash. I'm not even done because they discovered when they contacted the brother of Garbage Can Mary that Garbage Can Mary had been devastated by the break up of two relationships. Relationships that she thought were going somewhere ended up going nowhere. And as a consequence, garbage can Mary, not knowing how to process all that went down, found herself suffering from a broken heart that messed up her mind. I got to park here parenthetically because you've got to be careful about how you process and treat a breakup in your life because a breakup up can leave you toe up from the flow up wondering if you can get back up. Don't miss this. You can suffer from a heartbreak and it can mess with your mind. And when it messes with your mind, if you're not careful, you will start to date beneath your privileges, your power, and your possibility. Why? Because when, what went wrong back then is jacking with you right now. And already I'm in somebody's Kool-Aid. I done called out your flavor because you've been trying to figure out how you keep getting hooked up with the wrong person. It could be that because what has gone wrong, you can't recognize who is right. And when you can't recognize who is right, right, you settle for what is wrong because what went wrong has blinded you to what is right, and now you keep settling for wrong because in spite of what you have going for you, in a real sense, you can't even see you for the you that you are and not recognizing what you have going for you. You discover that you attract people in your life who see what's in you and want to get from you what they can. Why? Because because in a real sense, like garbage can marry, what happened back then is messing with you right now. I got to give it to you like this. Sometimes when you're in a relationship that went wrong, you discover that what you went through still ain't through with you. Am I preaching? Are y'all still not getting this thing? Because there's somebody looking at me right now. You can't even say amen, but you can holler back out. But if you look back over your life, there's some stuff that you you went through with them and it's still messing with you right now. And if you're not careful, you will hang out with trash and miss out on the treasure that you are. And with that being the case, I can't help but jump into our text and look at this he man who had some she weaknesses by the name of Samson. Samson, with all of his strength, was weak in the area of his relationships. Does that not blow your mind that you can have have people who got it going on in one aspect of their life, but they just can't get it straight when it comes to relationships. Samson had, watch this, uh, lay mates and play dates that he confused with soulmates. You may want to tweet. That's, that's kind of hot right there. Because if you're not careful, you will have a lot of lay mates and play dates. You think they're soulmates and you're confusing a relationship with what should be a situationship. I'm preaching. Y'all still not getting this thing. Uh, but understand, Samson, my brothers and sisters, lets all of us know that the relationships you get in will either drain you or they will develop you. Your relationships you get in will either be, watch this, subtractions from you because you hook up with negative people or additions to you because you hook up with positive people. Is there anybody here? 
here who can honestly look back over your life and testify that before you dated so-and-so, your credit was better, your money was better, your spirit was better, but after hooking up with them, you discovered they subtracted from you instead of adding to you. Am I preaching or y'all still not feeling me yet? I'm trying to let you know that Samson, this he-man, had a she weakness. He was strong on the one hand, but Samson, on the other hand, had a weakness when it came to his relationships. And the Bible lets us know Samson should have recognized that he was a treasure. And instead of not recognizing he was a treasure, he kept getting trashed over and over again. Why was he a treasure? Go back to chapter 13, and you'll discover that Samson was a gift to a couple by the name of Mr. and Mrs. Manoah. Mr. and Mrs. Manoah were an older couple that were childless, and the book says in their older years, God gifted them with a baby boy by the name of Samson. Samson was then dedicated to God as a Nazarite. That meant that he was separated for service. That meant that he was set apart for an assignment. Some of you are trying to figure out what your purpose is, what, why it is you are here on this planet. I've discovered Samson can teach us a lesson. First of all, you will not get to your purpose unless you go through some pain and problems because you can't handle what you get to unless you've been qualified by what you've been through. I'm preaching. Y'all just not getting this thing. Well,